This is Twit. Well, Facebook wants to be your bank. According to an exclusive in the Financial Times this morning, the social network is trying to get approval from the Central Bank of Ireland to offer financial services in Europe that include bill paying. Hannah Kuchler uh, is the San Francisco correspondent for the Financial Times, and she's one of the authors who broke this story and joins us today. Welcome, Hannah. Good morning. So what kind of services uh, is Facebook looking to offer? Well, we don't think Facebook's going to be a bank in the sense that it's going to suddenly start offering mortgages and credit cards or whatever. And in fact, to do that, they would have to obtain even more licenses than the licenses that they've got at the moment. But what they're looking for is to try and get... Um, Remittances is probably the first stage, it seems. So remittances is when people are transferring money. Um, often, you know, immigrants transferring money back home, and they want people to be able to do that over Facebook. Um, and um, obviously, that would really help them in the in developing markets as well, where they, um, you know, they they're continuing to grow. Developing markets like Europe. Well, <laughs> well but my, my question. No, but you've got to have the people in. You've got to have the people earning the money in the West who are sending it back to developing markets. Right? So you, UK so you banks and Europe. so on. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so so so. The e-money license that they're applying for in Ireland will help them, um, you know, back up the European side. They actually already have payments and um, money transfer licenses here in the US, which they've been gathering sort of quietly for a couple of years. Um, as I said, they don't have a full banking license. And the last time a non-banking corporation tried to get one here um, was Walmart about 10 years ago, and it went supremely badly. Um, and I'm not sure if Facebook really wanted to get into that kind of political mess. Hmm. Now, who is Facebook partnering with? I, I understand they're partnering with some, some money transfer, bill paying type companies. So they've been in discussions with, with um, three um, three London startups. One um, was called Azimo, another one. Um, but there are three names. You can read the story. I'm not going to remember them off by heart. Um, but they're very small, but they're, but they're doing interesting things already and, and sometimes interesting things on Facebook. Um, it's quite um, London is becoming this kind of center for financial technology as it, as it would be because it is such a financial center. Um, so it's interesting to see that Facebook are trying to sort of um, sniff around some of these companies and see if they can buy them for themselves. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Mike, if I could jump in. Hey, Hannah, um, would you characterize these discussions as preliminary discussions with the three different companies? Or do you think they're pretty far down the road with these discussions? Um, well, the, so with the license, the e-money license in Ireland, they are, you know, um, very close to getting it. That will be in the next few weeks. Um, with these companies, um, I don't, um, I, would, I wouldn't say that they're about to, about to sign because, um, um, for my information, they may have even, um, no, yeah, they're, they're still in discussions. Okay. All right. And then more, one, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no problem. No problem. And then one follow up. Um, would you, any guesses as to when the service may launch or is it way too early to say? It's pretty early. I mean, this is, you know, Facebook's made a lot of unusual bets, right? In the last few weeks, we've seen them buying mm. you know, a drone maker and we've seen them buying Oculus Rift, obviously, and things. So this isn't, this isn't as far out as those things because those things are like, you know, real long-term bets on the future of the internet and the company. This is much more near term, but I wouldn't say it was necessarily, you know, we're all about to start using Facebook for, um, for sending money in the next couple of months. Now, somebody might uh, be curious about why Facebook would want to get into, uh, I guess, uh, third world, I guess, is the is the term we use in the United States. I know that's not popular uh, globally, but uh, in the third world, it wants to get into these uh, bill paying um, scenarios. But in fact, uh, the biggest um, uh, money transfer uh, company in the world is based in Kenya, uh, a company called Safaricon, uh, Safari.com. Uh, what is it? Safaricon, I think Hello? it is. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. I, th I think, uh, uh, ho hopefully Hannah's still with us. Are you still with us, Hannah? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. So, so they, they have something called M-Pesa, which, which powers uh, the, the majority of money transfers in the world. And a lot of people don't uh, realize this in, in the West, but Facebook actually heavily subsidizes the use of Facebook around the world in markets where people have to actually pay for, uh, you know, nickels and dimes to pay for their internet connectivity. And they essentially say, and Google does this too, by the way, uh, where they, 
they'll pay for it as long mm -hmm. as you're using Facebook or in the case of Google, Google. So it's a huge industry actually to, to have these uh, little uh, money transfer things around the world. Now, I guess the, the, the elephant in the living room to me is that you know, who, who's going to trust Facebook with their money? I think the vast majority of users may barely even trust Facebook with their password. Um, do you think that they, Facebook has the kind of uh, reputation and, and, and uh, standing in, in the world to, to, to have people trust them with their financial transactions? Well, yeah, that is, that is an important question. Um, I think, you know, Facebook, especially in the West, has been involved with a lot of um, sort of privacy battles and there's a lot of mistrust and, and feeling that they might be sort of trying to secretly change their privacy policies and things. Although that's something that Facebook's very much trying to target. I mean, last week it released a whole load of new stuff about privacy, which was all trying to sort of um, clean up that reputation. Um, in in terms of um, trust in the developing world, I, I don't know. It's a big brand. Over a billion people are on it. You know, when your, ch your choice is between that and a major bank here in the US, then, then maybe you're not going to want to do it. But if your choice is between that and yeah a small money transfer business down the street why not go with facebook it's got a reputation to uphold all right well hannah thank you for coming on uh, tech news today i really uh really liked your story it was a killer piece and i appreciate your exclusive oh you're welcome thank you all right thanks again you can find hannah at ft.com of course and on twitter at hannah h kuchler right, let me spell that for you h-a-n-n-a-h K-U-C-H-L-E-R.